you can automate your WhatsApp so you can use your voice to send or schedule messages to be sent later, maybe while you're sleeping. I will show you how you can do this using simple Python code. Hello, how may I help you? Send WhatsApp message to Mike. What would you like me to say? Happy birthday. What time would you like me to send the message? 11.26 Message to Mike has been scheduled. Let's get started. For this tutorial, I am going to use Visual Studio Code to edit my code. However, feel free to use any Python code editor of your choice. The first thing we're going to do is get some Python packages that we need for this project. Go to Google search and type Python speech recognition. Click on the first result. You will then see this page. Click on this icon to copy to clipboard. Open command prompt and paste it. For me it's anaconda command prompt because I installed Python using anaconda. Press enter to install the first package. Search for PyWatkit and repeat the same process. The next package we need is PYTTSX3. Finally, the last package we need to install is PyAudio. Now, we can start writing the code. Open a new file and select Python programming language. Let us now import the packages we just installed. Sending WhatsApp messages is very easy. All you need to do is call this pi what kit method, send what message, and give the following arguments. Phone number, the message itself, and the time, in hours and minutes. When you run this line of code, you will see an output like this one. In 38 seconds, WhatsApp will open and after 15 seconds, message will be delivered. As you can see, WhatsApp opens and the message is already typed in the text box. The message then gets sent after 15 seconds. For text-to-speech functions, we are going to use this package. Let's start by initializing it. To say something, we call this method, say, and give some text as the argument. Add run and wait then press run. Hello, how may I help you? That sounds great, but we can change it to a female voice. Get the voice properties of the engine, and then set the voice ID index to 1.
By default, 0 is a male voice and 1 is a female voice. Hello, how may I help you? That sounds even better. The next main function of our program will be speech recognition. I am going to write a function for this, then explain how it works. I started by initializing my speech recognizer. I named my function getSpeech. My audio source is my microphone. You don't have to adjust for ambient noise, but I would recommend it. I set my duration to 0.2 of a second. I added this line so I can know when my program is actively listening. This next line gets the audio from the microphone. The next step is to translate it to text using Recognize Google. To standardize the text, make it all lowercase. This part is meant to handle errors. If no audio is picked up from the mic, print no command and return none. Otherwise, return the command. We need one more function to get a specific phone number from a list of names and numbers, as specified by the user. The list will include names followed by the respective numbers. My function, getNumber will take two arguments, the list, and the name. We need a counter to increment the list items index. For every item in the list, the loop will check if the names match. If the names match, then the respective phone number is the next item in the list. The function returns this number. If the name is not in the list, the function returns, none. The main part of the program will be inside a while loop because we don't want the program to run only once and exit. Call get speech to get the user's input. The rest of the code only runs if the statement contains send WhatsApp message to. We need to extract the name from the statement by replacing this phrase with a blank space, then deleting all blank spaces. Call get number and store the number associated with the name in a variable. Now we need to get the message the user wants to send.
store it in another variable. Next, ask the user for the time to send the message. We need to simplify this time to a format easy to operate on. This means removing colons and spaces between the digits and converting them to integers. Notify the user that the message has been scheduled. Select the first two elements of the time and store them in a variable called hours. Convert this variable into an integer. Select the last two and store them in a variable called minutes. Convert this two into an integer. The last line of code will be to call the sendWhat message and use the variables we just collected to schedule the WhatsApp message. It's time to test our program. Hello, how may I help you? Send WhatsApp message to Alex. What would you like me to say? Good morning. What time would you like me to send the message? 1317. Message to Alex has been scheduled. That's it for today's video. If it was helpful, please like and leave a comment. Thank you for watching, see you in the next video.